Hi guys, this is PJ. Um, I did a uh, replacement. Had this old AC here. Had a has a Bristol compressor in it, and I decided to do a little bit of my own autopsy, if you will. <clears throat> um, Dallas did a really really good one. Uh, you want to. He shows the inner workings of a compressor, and he did a really good job. Also, Gray Furnace Man, he did a really good, what he called a compressor autopsy. Um, I just, uh, I've never cut one open. Always wanted to, so I thought it was as good as time of any, so I'll show you what I came up with. First of all, um, show you what it came out of. This was a Weather King, I think it was called. Weather King 10A JB24A01. Manufactured 6 of 2004. Um, this, I did not diagnose it. Um, I went and they called me just for a quote, <clears throat> said it needed replaced. And uh, that's what I did. I offered to take a look and see if it could be fixed and he said he was ready to get a new one so that's what he did um, actually this is the replacement of if you saw <clears throat> the video I posted that says my first Armstrong air install this is the unit that I took out of there um, <clears throat> obviously it's all tore down now um, I usually tear all my units down for separate the coils from the metal but so anyhow so kind of hard to read now but right there you see this is a it's a Bristol compressor part number seven zero five zero three five dash one three zero one dash zero zero model H two three B two two S A B C A okay 230 208 volt single phase um, standard uh, piston compressor okay so took a sawzall zipped around it <clears throat> and um, here's the lid opened up why sorry so I took the <clears throat> I got it opened up here I still have the oil in it um, you could see your liquid line. This is the liquid line that goes down around through the oil and uh, on to the exit part right there. There we go. Um, you can see down here where your electrical connection is. It's pretty much the same on the inside as the, kind of the way it sticks out on the outside. Um, all the shavings and debris and junk is all from me. This was really, really clean. Uh, I believe whoever told him he needed a new compressor. Um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. <laughs> um, I tested it, ohmed it out. Everything for the electric motor was perfectly fine and everything. So anyhow, let's get back to this here. So here's the compressor outside of the shell. Now I have all the screws out already so I could just kind of take these pieces off and show you what I came up with. Now this part here connected to that high side tube uh, that I showed you inside the oil. So, right over here, okay. So, this is kind of exactly the way it sat in here. Right there is where your suction, your suction line connects. Um, it comes in through this port here. Um, looks like, you know, it goes down here, goes through these two tubes, and down into this block. Oop. That's getting going to be a little ahead of us, but that's okay. This part pops off. There's kind of basically a cover that's connected. That's where your um, suction side comes in. There's that. Here's your motor. Here's your uh, your thermal overload. 
and it tested out good. Um, then you got your stator. Made in Mexico. So there's your stator. There's no, I didn't find any gouges, anything on the inside. It just looked really clean. The motor spins freely. So there's that part. And there's the inside part. Now, the part that fell off earlier do this here so the suction side was connected to these two holes then this part that goes out would be your liquid light liquid side compression part so let's lay this down take a look at what this thing's doing I just think this is just super cool and it's pretty neat just because I have never taken one apart as um, okay, so we kind of set together like this. So you can see here on this block, there's two sides. You have your your suction side. Those are the two holes that where this distributor body, this part, this part here, here connected into. So you got your suction gas coming in on this side, and it's separated. There's no holes in between. You got your your liquid that would come out this way. So you got your next part with your valves in it. And this set just like this. Um, and there's your pistons. So as your piston goes down and sucking, this little flap opens up, pulls in from this side which is your gas your suction side. Um, then as your piston's going up, it's putting a lot of pressure on this, keeping that sealed and pushing open these guys. That's uh, kind of hard to do. You gotta get a screwdriver behind them, but pushes those open and it pushes, um, compresses it, turns it back to a liquid and goes into this side, up through here, down, down this tube, around through the oil and out. Okay, um, now the one thing that I don't know is what this thing is. Um, and where it connects inside here is, um, is here. I don't know if it's like a pop-off type thing, like an overpressure relief maybe. That's what it kind of seems like. Um, you know, it goes down into this hole where it fits and be on the liquid side. So, you know, maybe it's a, uh, and it would just blow back, um, it would just blow back into the shrouded area here if it were a, a pop off of some sort. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is, but, um, I don't take my word for that because I, I really don't know. Like I said, this is the first one I've ever taken apart, and uh, I kind of, I know the basics of them, obviously, I know how to work on them and everything else, but um, to be able to see the inside of them kind of gives you a whole nother light, and uh, it's very, very interesting. Um... The space right here with those two notches <clears throat> fits these perfectly. Um, um, <clears throat> The other thing I guess I was curious about, and maybe somebody will be able to answer this for me, um, when you're pushing your gas through here and it goes up into this this body before it goes into here, I guess I don't totally understand the point of this. If it's a uh, if it's like a muffling type system, is it for noise? 
Um, it sounds hollow. I haven't cut that apart yet. I was thinking about just slicing that in two just to see what else is inside of there. But um, maybe somebody will be able to answer that for me and, and let me know what the function of that is. So, you get your suction side and your liquid side. But these valves, these are, these are they're just very cool. They're, it's so basic that it's genius, you know. It, <clears throat> so anyhow, guys, I <clears throat> sorry, I don't mean to, to bore you to death with my fun of tearing apart a compressor. But, uh, like I said, I've never done one. And I'm going to do something with this. I don't know what, but I'm going to use the motor for something. Um, oh, when that, the way that thing sits in there, it actually sits on these springs here and here. Um, you see down there, there's, there's two pegs on either side that those springs sit on, so it's totally balanced on that spring. And then on the inside, the top part sits on against that spring. Um, so, you know, I'm sure if you've moved compressors around and you hear them clunk and chank and everything else, that's, um, you know, they're all riding on springs, um, top and bottom. So, it's very cool, very cool. Hermetically sealed compressor. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. If there's any questions, just... Uh, please ask and if there's something I'm missing or if you know something that um, that I totally uh, misdiagnosed or or I'm calling something the wrong part uh, let me know because this is a learning experience for me and uh, I just love taking stuff apart like this and just seeing what it's all made of so instead of taking this one to the scrap pile, I think it's an, I'm going to turn it into a little bit of fun. I'm going to do something with it. I don't know what, but I'm going to do something, and hopefully I can get a video of it. And, um, yeah. All right, guys. Have a, have a great day. It's Saturday. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.